What's going on, everybody? I hope everyone is having a fantastic evening. I am here with a very special guest today, the Robin Hood of Wall Street, Gregory Manorino. Gregory, how you doing today, man? How's everything? Doing great. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. And we, we, we always have fun. And we're going to have fun now, too. <laughs> I love it, man. And it's an honor to always have you, man. I think this is the fourth time you've come on the channel. We try to do this once every two months or so. And, and I really appreciate all the support, man. So God bless you. Thank you. All right. So, so I want to just start. This is going to be a very interesting topic I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you about the election and predictive programming and, and something that I'm seeing more and more of. So I want to discuss with you in the beginning predictive programming, which is seemingly becoming more and more relevant and divisive. So, for example, there's a movie coming out called Civil War this year about a divided America. And why do you think they chose to release this film this year? Do you think there's a reason or am I just, you know, is this too coincidental? <laughs> Dude, I mean, look, we're on the brink. Uh, uh, people are ready to freak out right now. Uh, I, I, you know, there are there are, there are subgroups, uh, I, I think, that are planning some kind of a, an action. At least I hope so. Look, we need a civil war. We need a revolution. I've been telling people we need a rebellion against this thing. We are in the most poisonous, disgusting, toxic situation i mean we could we could it couldn't be any worse the lies the propaganda the distractions the deceptions the look here don't look there i mean people have had enough i really think they have um and you know it's not going to take much for this to break and i think they want it here's the situation here okay what we what i believe to be true and 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 dude i i mean i i talk to everybody and i i talk to everybody um and everyone's on the same page here that, that that has a little maybe insight into this that maybe others don't. What it looks to me is being set up here is they want to incite another, you know, massive riot, let's say, you know, raid the Capitol where they raided the wrong building last time. It should have been the Federal Reserve, obviously. You know, these were just, unfortunately, they uh, they had no idea what they were doing. Sad, but true. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, but they want something. They want people to revolt. Uh, they want a rebellion um, because they want they're looking for more control any yes. way they can get it. So if they incite people and I think this is what they're looking to do here. I mean, right now, people are, you know, are obviously divided pretty widely right now. you got mm -hmm. these people, you know, maybe want a certain candidate. These other people want another candidate. But it's to me and it's really that's really what they're using. And they, they can use anything. They're using yep. every mechanism they can think about, dream about, fantasize around, and even have a nightmare over to find a reason to keep people hating each other at each other's freaking throats here. Okay. Um, th that's that's a tool that's been used literally since time immemorial, and this is how the few have control. As you know, uh, being a, a history uh, teacher, you know, understanding that mm -hmm. this is this is what they do. Yes. Um, and in my view here, they're looking to, again, steal away people's freedom. We, what are we free to really do? If we are unfortunately living underneath the rulership of a central bank, is what, they control the economy, they control the monetary system, they control the financial system in, in its entirety, including the markets here. We, we have to live under, you know, with what they tell us to do. Again, if we, if we don't have a free money system, we're dead. We're dead, 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 but we they can't allow people to focus on that. They have to have them, you know, focusing on the reds or the blues. And they're both this, you know, the two two wings of the same bird. It's all it's all it's all nonsensical. But again, they're gonna, they they're looking for a reason to uh, uh, extort or force control on people, and nothing would be better than a uh, rebellion here, unfortunately. But I mean, if we had enough people, we can make it work, but there's not enough unfortunately, to, under, to understand what's happening. I wish, I mean, I, I have a pretty good following, but it's nothing. I mean, we would need millions and millions of people. And then, of course, they probably, you know, I find myself uh, in a hole buried somewhere. You know, you yeah. can't, you know, you're not, you if you don't toe the line, it's amazing that, honestly, to me, when I look at my own blog and, you know, people like yourself, other people trying to get an alternative view out there. I'm surprised we're even allowed to open our mouths. I'm, I'm very surprised. Uh, the people I've it, had it on, is. I'm very surprised. And maybe they're using us to keep people divided too. I don't know what the, you know, because a lot of people have lost their, um, their voice out here. They've been taken down for whatever reason. Every day, every day I look yeah. and I say, am I, you know, am I still able to put stuff out? If, but, you know, look, if they pull me out off of YouTube, which they can do at any moment, uh, I have, and you should think about this too. Do you have a Substack account? I, I, I've, I've thought about. I'm think. I'm genuinely thinking about creating one. 
Because they'll let you upload right to Substack. And yep. uh, I don't think there's any censorship there at all. You know, we both need to be somewhat careful about what we say. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you, you can talk around things a little bit because there's a, there's definitely a big part of, of this social media aspect that, that is looking to uh, yep. not allow you to get certain ideas out there, but that's, but that's okay. But uh, yeah, absolutely. Look, they, they would be, nothing would make them happier than a, a civil war uh, right now. The military is ready to pounce and we have the strongest military right now. Uh, I, I would, you know, a lot of people might argue that this is true, but I think it is. I think the United States right now totally. is the strongest military in the world. And um, they will use point that weapon in or out. Um, you know, uh, when you when you uh, when you <laughs> sign up for the armed forces, you know, you you take an oath there to uh, mm -hmm. defend against all enemies, foreign and domestic. I took that oath. Yes, um, you did. So, you know, you get people are going to do what they got to do, especially if they say, you know what, you know, I, I mean, they'll hold pay. From people, there are going to be some that aren't going to want to, uh, let's say, uh, participate in what might be uh, a rebellion or something like that. But I think nothing would make them happier. I think they want a rebellion and they're looking for I think that this presidential selection, I call it a selection. You probably know that I think is going to be um, un under military control um, because they're yep. expecting something to happen. And, and, you know, the way things are lining up right now. I think a lot of people are going to be very surprised at how this his selection turned out. Absolutely. And, and I want to make a, uh, a very interesting parallel uh, here is I made a tweet about this a couple of days ago. I said the great irony of American existence is its inception was brought out by excessive debt by Louis the 16th, which resulted in the French revolution <laughs> and the brink of bankruptcy of France. <clears throat> Basically, for those who may not be aware, France consistently borrowed money, raised taxes, and reduced the intrinsic value of its currency by reducing the precious metal content of the of of the French currency at the time. I mean, what exactly is what has America been doing since the 1930s? Getting rid of the gold standard, making the dollar less valuable, basically mm -hmm. drumming up more debt. It's uh, the irony of this is America's slow demise is identical to its inception, and I find that to be a rather shocking truth that people don't understand this 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 interesting parallel. And, and I'm curious to hear your thoughts on the election because that's my second question. So we saw yesterday Trump win the South Carolina primary and Nikki Haley losing in her own state and refuses to drop out. Why do you think she's doing this? And when is it, when it, when it's evident that her chance of victory is, is slim to none? Yeah, it is slim to none. And I, I don't know why she's actually hanging out in there. Maybe she wants to be select, selected as the, uh, you know, the vice president. I'm, I'm not even sure how, how that's going to even play out yeah. here. But it's interesting to, you know, look, I think pe people right now have no idea what's happening. So they're being robbed blind via mm -hmm. this mechanism of inflation. It's not going to stop. The, the spending on our current war, the war is also in Ukraine and Israel and everything else that they want to fund right now. All it does is dilute the currency. And uh, again, it's 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 grand theft on an unimaginable scale. But people don't they don't think of it in those kind of terms. They don't see what's happening, and they trust. I mean, I can't stand watching CNBC and Bloomberg and Fox Business out there. They're praising the Fed and they're working so hard to stop it. No, they never wanted to stop inflation at all. Uh, they, 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 since day one, their goal has been to inflate. Central bank's power resides in only one thing: their ability to inflate, their ability to issue debt, and they're not going to stop. Right now, they got the world by the throat. Um, and that that plays right into uh, why I sincerely believe that we're going to start seeing rate cuts come June, um, and May, June, probably more like June. A anyway, uh, so look, so uh, you know, look, it's pretty obvious to me. Uh, and unless things something against happens, we're going to see a repeat of the last presidential selection. Yes, and I in agree. my view, the way things are setting up right now, it's going to be the same. We're going to see a very similar play out to last time. And, uh, and then people are probably going to go cuckoo, uh, and, and that's what they're looking to do. They're probably building up to that moment here. I think a lot of people are going to get let down, unless things change right now. That's the way it looks. It looks like 
I can't even say his name. I hate even talking about him. Biden is going to get. I really can't. I hate him. I, I don't like him either. I can't stand him. I just either. can't. You know, I, I can't listen to him. But but anyway, that's just the way it's setting up right now. But I, you know, I, again, it goes back to what I've been trying to tell people for a thousand years. It feels like a thousand that this world is run by the central banks. It's not run yep. by presidents, kings, queens, monsters, dictators. They may think it is, and uh, but it isn't. Unfortunately, the, the entire system from stem to stern. Uh, is is rigged against them, and they're all losing. They're all losing, and they're going to continue to lose, no, no matter what. Unfortunately, un unless there is a rebellion, that's what they're pushing. I think they want people to revolt. I want people to revolt, but again, people they, they they've been so uh, I don't know what the word is. They, the people aren't willing to fight for anything anymore. Um, they, they just they they they've been put in boxes. They may they may talk a good game, but whether or not they're going to actually do it, I doubt it. When it comes push to shove, they're probably unfortunately going to submit uh, right now uh, to the way things are going. Uh, and and what are they doing? They're deliberately creating uh, de dependency on the current system. Yes, the current system is being dismantled piece by piece, brick by brick. No pun, well, maybe pun intended. And uh, it, it, things are going to change, and and unfortunately. Things are going to get much worse here uh, before. What do we just find out? I, you know, no surprise. With regard to the economy, it's dead and it's buried. Today, we got manufacturing factory activity, 22 months in contraction. Does anybody really think that's just coincidence? Anything that's happening right now is not coincidence. This I is agree. deliberate. These wheels have been set in motion a long time ago. We're living in the side effect of what has been planned from a long time ago. And it's it's the central banks. They are pushing the world and its people in one particular direction, and it's accelerating. Everything that we're seeing is accelerating. It's going to accelerate much much faster, I think, moving forward. Absolutely, I think it's accelerating. On, on top of the fact that they're they're utilizing technological innovation to basically degradate the middle class to a point where there is no middle class anymore. And you see this with, <coughs> excuse me, Americans having to work two to three jobs. You're seeing this in the skyrocket debt, the skyrocketing debt crisis that we see. Uh, I remember hearing. I'm really happy that you said that. Hold that thought. Go because ahead. people don't understand that we are in a full-blown debt crisis. We are in a liquidity crisis. It's drying up here. The system is coming apart by design. Uh, and, I mean, we are in a full-blown debt crisis. And what are they doing? They continue to inflate and inflate and inflate and inflate. It's not going to stop. War is expanding. Does anyone think that's a coincidence? The Federal Reserve's repo program. I've been trying to bring this to people's attention here. What is the repo program? This is a, where the Federal Reserve is passing, was at least and still is to a certain degree, vast amounts of cash between itself and other financial institutions to fake liquidity, to trick yep. the market into thinking it's more liquid than it actually is. So mm -hmm. at the same time, the Fed's winding this down, and it's dramatic. You can go right to the Federal Reserve's own web website and see this. Now we have war expanding. It's it's, it's been planned. It was planned in advance. And yep. as that winds down, war is going to exp what over the weekend. We just this this new phase now. This this increased bombing campaign in the Middle East. Does anyone think this is really why is this going on? People got to wake up. They don't, they're unable to put the pieces together because, again, they've been too overwhelmed with what's going on in their own life, trying to make ends meet. Again, middle class is being systematically Destroyed. erased, mm -hmm. erased. With, uh, with, you know, neo feudal system. I've been warning about this for 10 years. That's where we're going. Uh, yes. And it's right here. It's here right now. And it, but that, of course, is going to get a lot worse to moving forward. And we'll just, it's, it's unfortunate. People need to do certain things, they need to take action right now. So first of all, get your head in the right place um, and, and realize what's happening to you and then take action. I, I agree 100 percent. And the scary thing is that you bring up a neo-feudal system. We're going back into a neo-feudal system. And the only thing that got us out of a feudal system, speaking, you know, just speaking in Europe terms, not Japan or anything like that. But speaking of Europe terms, the only really thing that got us out of feudalism was the Black Death because of the immense amount of population decline and the ability for <clears throat> peasants to actively say, well, you used to have 30 workers. Now you have two. I want workers' rights. I want a higher salary. So that feudal system started to dismantle because of, first of all, the Renaissance. And also at the same time, you had workers' rights start to develop after the plague. So I guess the 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 scare, the, the, the frightening part of it for me is if we're going into a neo-feudal system and everything is accelerating, I presume that feudalism is not going to last from around 500 like it did to around 1450. I don't think it's going to go for a thousand years. But, and if we're accelerating, I can only ponder what would try to get us out of that neo-feudal system or a resistance to never prevent that 
to, to, to prevent that from actually happening. That's the frightening part. And the only thing that makes sense to me is either disease, uh, revolution, or a global war that can attempt to at least erase the debt crisis by, I don't know, total war, a total war economy again, the American war machine. I, I don't mm -hmm. know. I really don't know. Well, I, I think you definitely are hitting on some incredible points, and that's exactly – I've been telling people for a very, very long time, um, many years now, that I do believe, unfortunately, we are going to end up in a situation where I wouldn't be surprised if half of the global population is erased one way or the other, whether it's mm -hmm. via a war or whether it's a disease and or both, however they're going to do it. But to me, I look at it and I say, what – what do they want? What is their end game? What is what? What's their goal? Their goal is control, and to control, to exert control, and I think it could be to an extreme level. Yes, um, they have to have less people. They have to they have to cut the population of this world. Whether again, why it's war, nuclear war, disease, what I mean, anything they can do whatever they want, and they will, and they're gonna. Mm -hmm. uh, parade out people to tell you, oh, well, this is happening for this reason. No, it's it's deliberate. Everything mm -hmm. that's coming to us is deliberate. And um, it's an incredible thing un to understand. We, If we don't take control, again, uh, back from those, from from the central banks here, that who, to, to me, run the entire world. If yes. we can't get that back, we, it's it's over in, in at so many levels for people as we move forward. Unfortunately, yep. uh, it really is. And I, I, it doesn't look like there's a way to stop it, at least in the immediate immediate future. Maybe when things get so bad, I don't know. Maybe, I have no idea. It's interesting to speculate. But it, it does look like things are lining up exactly like you're saying. Like 100%. They're going to eat. The, a, a large po portion of the population is probably not going to be here in a certain amount of time. It probably isn't too far off either. I think 2025 is going to be a, a, a big year. So do I. Um, so it, it, it just looks like things are lining up like that. After the presidential selection, the things have, I think, uh, I think what's going on here, look, the Fed in this case here, or central banks collectively are working together to institute a new system of maximum control. Yes, They're I dismantling agree. the current system, as we said. They're killing the currency by design. Central banks have been doing this since their inception of, of the fiat system, trying to uh, you know inflate and inflate and inflate. And, and unfortunately, we're all paying the price for that. And, yes. and eventually, it's going to melt down on itself. And, you know, everyone's looking at the stock market, everyone, and they're all looking in the wrong place. Okay. Every, I, I tell everyone, stop, stop looking at the stock market. Stop looking at the Dow Jones industrial average. It's all nonsense. It's some kind yes. of a hypnotic thing. And people see the Dow, 30 companies going up, or they look at the S&P 500 and they think it's, you know, everything's great. Well, the economy must be really, really strong because we're hitting record high, record high, record high. No surprise this is going to happen. I mean, I, I, I foretold this at the end of last year. Look at my old videos. I told everyone it was going to happen. Mass layoffs, which we're clearly seeing. Yes. Um, and you got this market here, record high, record high, record high. The real meltdown is going to start in the debt market. Okay. Yes. We don't even get pullbacks or debt or, 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 or drops in the market anymore. It seems like it goes straight up. I mean, it's the illusion of the market for the presidential selection here to keep people look. Oh, my 401k is looking great. Oh, I'm a happy person. Oh, my house value continues to go up. Oh, fantastic. I am a millionaire on paper. I mean, yep. and that's what they're doing. So, but, but anyway, all this is going to change. It's going to change extremely rapidly. And then what they're going to do is what they always do. They're going to, there's, there's going to be a massive major occurrence where people are going to get on their knees and be, beg for a new system. And they're going to say, hey, the same people that cre are creating the problem are going to say, hey, we have a new system for you. And yep. here it is. And, pe and people are going to willingly accept it. It's, it's always the same. Look, look back on history. You know this better than anybody. Over and over and over and over and over. Don't stop. Yep. And it never will stop. This is, but people think it's different this time. It's not different. No, it's, it's the same. I, I agree 100%. There are two points in history that the United States reminds me of that I go back and forth on. Either the first uh, the, the first century uh, BC in Rome or the crisis of the third century in Rome, where the crisis of third century in Rome, basically exactly what it sounds like. There was a divide in Rome. There was, excuse me, inflation in the empire. There was two breakaway states that happened, and only un, only did mil, basically military reorganization created the allowed for the empire to last for another 
if you don't count Eastern Rome, if you just count Western Rome, another 250 years or so. So I pon there's just too many parallels between those specific time periods, but uh, right, right, right at the fall of the Republic to the Empire period, which you're kind of seeing now, and the crisis of the third century, which you're seeing the divide in America as a result of of political differences that I, I haven't seen. I, I've never seen in my life up until now. I'm, I'm young, but I, you know, studying history, you haven't seen this divide since <laughs> anti antebellum America, right before, right before the civil war. So, you know, it, it says a lot. And I now want to ask you then select, you bring up selection. Speaking of selections, I'm curious then, because there was, I think Trump dropped a hint a couple of days ago on uh, vice presidential picks so who do you who do you think will be his vice presidential pick and why? And do you think this pick will resonate with people? Do you think it's you know, what, what do you think? I don't know. I think this whole thing from from stem to stern stinks to me. And I think they're just setting people up for a great fall. I really, really do. I don't think it matters who they pick. I'll be honest. I, the vice president is kind of inconsequential anyway. It is. In, you're right. You're yeah, right. It, it doesn't. I, it don't matter. You know what, what it's going to end up being is look, is, it, is what people always do. Very sadly, they if, if you look back on history where people have put all of who they are and what they believe into a, a human being, uh, in this case, with and there's a lot of people here who would, who would actually probably give their life for Trump here, and he, he doesn't even know they exist, they think that this guy's gonna make a difference here. All he did do, uh, I mean, the, you know, last time was make sure the Federal Reserve got even stronger. Uh, by allowing them to vastly inflate here. It wasn't pr Trump's job to start wars. It was Trump's job to rebuild the military for war. It's a long game that they're playing. This isn't, you know, oh, this four years and then this four years. It's a long, long game. And uh, and that's just the way it is right now, unfortunately. But, but look, um, right now, as I said, you know, we got war breaking out. The, uh, the military industrial complex, the generals gathered in their masses. You know, we've been warned by even bands like Black Sabbath about where we're going to go. Uh, but, you know, look, uh, it's going to be an interesting year, I think. But um, I think people are, gonna, are, are getting set up as they always are for more divide. And it is very possible that we're going to see, unfortunately, uh, a, a lot more oppression on people moving forward. Fact, there's no doubt about it. I mean, that's I agree. And the, the, the crazy part is there are people, more and more people who are now becoming dependent on the system yep. who are willing to give it up. They're willing to surrender everything just so they can be taken care of from cradle to grave. Yep. Um, the, people have lost their competitive edge. And then you have this whole element here of the BRICS nations here. This is this up and coming alliance yes. here with it they're, they're calling the evil alliance the anti-us i mean does this sound familiar to the what are they called they're actually calling it an axis an yeah. anti-us axis people that should ring a bell with certain people here this isn't so long ago here when we we were hearing the same terms you know what i'm yep. talking about you know allies oh, and I, oh i know exactly what talking about none of which not even one is a BRICS nation here this is a threat to the petrol dollar they're gonna kill millions here to keep that the, the dollar as the world reserve um, as we move forward here, but you know, look, it doesn't matter to me. I, I I don't really think it matters whatsoever who who they put behind the resolute desk. It's just gonna it's it's gone off the rails, and mm -hmm. our, 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 we have no voice again. Are we voting for who voted for this new war here that we're conducting here? The the allies are uh, now against Middle Eastern targets here. Uh, yep. dude, who, who's voting for the billions, tens of billions of dollars for this war and for that? We're not voting. We have no voice. We have we just go along with it. And what is it doing? It's devaluing the currency. We're losing our purchasing power. People are going to have to work harder than they ever have before. It's just not going to stop. Um, it's crazy. Uh, I agree 100 percent. And guys, before I go to my last question, all I want to respectfully ask everyone in the chat that's in here, I think there's, for what I'm seeing, there's 250 people in here. Um, guys, please consider if you if you came from you know my audience to subscribe to Gregory Manorino's channel. He also has, uh, excuse me, traderschoice.net. I have that link in the description as well. And also make sure to follow Gregory on Twitter and also check out his sub stack. Um, I have the, uh, the, the YouTube channel, Trader's Choice, and I have his Twitter in the description Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Consider donating to the channel through Super Chats. It really does help the channel grow. And I, I, again, it's just for me. I also, I appreciate all of you guys being here. It means a lot that people and are And don't forget listening. to subscribe here, guys and girls. Come on. Let's show this guy some lion love. 
<laughs> Thank you so much. This is the fourth time you've been on, and I'm looking forward to the fifth already. Um, so, so I guess my 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 last question to you, I was going to ask you if Joe Biden is going to be the Democratic nominee, but I think I'm going to ask something else. My question is, it's basically if all of this is going to culminate into something that happens after the uh, the so the American selection in 2024 and then early 2025. How do people, I guess, what 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 is the what is the end solution for you know just commoners like us? What 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 do we what do we do? I guess what would you say we do? I mean, there's so many levels to this. I mean, first of all, look, understand that we're not each other's enemies here, and that we're being put against each other by design mm-hmm. on purpose. Okay, we got to start coming together, get together with like-minded people, your neighbors, start saying hello to these people. We're gonna need them. I'm telling you, because I there's no, it almost no. In fact, there is no way that this is not gonna end in a worst case scenario eventually uh i'm already starting like people again oh greg the the global economy could not be worse off than it is right now again it's the distraction of the market stop being distracted by that number one okay all your paper wealth is going to evaporate more than likely so you got to get yourselves into the right spot here okay these are mine i don't sell this stuff you know how many people have asked me to sell gold and silver and they want to give me a percentage they were going to make coins with my face on i said no i don't want to do that because they would make people think that i have a vested interest in it which i do not or i think this asset here silver is the most undervalued asset in the world so from a financial standpoint grab this stuff every time that you possibly can again global debt do people believe that global debt is going to buy, buy some miracle all of a sudden change no listen to no. what you all the history you just outlined it's going to get monumentally worse and then again people don't understand that the cash moves through the markets in relatively predict in unpredictable patterns here we have risk on cash making its way into the stock market we have the federal reserve exacerbating war looking to drive cash into the perceived safety of debt that will push stocks even higher the stock market is going higher anyone that's sitting here trying to call a top in this market doesn't know what they're looking at they're looking at the market then they're looking at the drivers of the market so forget about that all right market's going up especially because of the selection cycle after that i already told people i'm going to say it right here too that you got multi-billionaires pulling out billions of dollars in stock right now bezos uh the amazon the amazon guy bezos and you got Bloomberg, Zucker face, whatever his name is over there, uh, and then and you know you go and then you got senators and they're pulling their cash out here like it's going out of style, and there's a reason for that because if they believe and they know what I know, they know what I know is if Biden is reselected, the market's going to take a hit. The market, yeah, hit. I agree. They're getting out. I want to show you something real quick. I did this. Yeah, earlier. please. Yeah, this is, uh, this, uh, this is just these, uh, yeah, Bezos, uh, Diamond, Demon, and I just drew on this in my blog earlier. Yeah, these guys are pulling out, like I said, all these insiders pulling out cash. This book is just a market top. No, because they realize that if Biden is reselected, the market's going to fall. But the, I, I think that may pre- present opportunity. I personally, I already said this, and I'll say it here on your show. If, in fact, this is, if it looks to me, and it looks like that now, that Biden's going to get another. <laughs> be selected here again. I think the market's going to take a big hit initially. So do I. So I will pull out. I will sell it all. All my investments I'm pulling out of the market, just like these guys. Okay, they have a lot more money than I do. But I'm going to pull out what I got. Wait to see what happens, and then get back in. Uh, if I'm wrong, lovely. If the market goes up, so freaking what? Just jump back in. But I'll be watching the ten-year yield. I'll be watching the dollar on a relative strain basis. I'll be looking at the Manorino market risk indicator, the MMRI, which the market seems very comfortable with, even though we're sitting at a high risk zone. So you got to look at so many things. It's not just black and white. There's like so many little facets to this uh, whole thing. But it's fascinating. Speaking of facets, it is. kind of rhymes. But 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 that's where we're at, man. I, you know, look, you and I were doing our best to keep people in the know. And uh, I, I think we're doing a damn good job. And if people want to listen to this stuff, that's fantastic. If they don't want to, that's okay too. All right. Maybe, maybe we don't know everything. Maybe they, they connect with somebody else and that's fine. All right. I, you know, I know that's just the way it is, but ponder the situation. Think about what's happening. Look around you. And do you really believe this is by accident? Is this just by chance, just a comedy of errors? If you just say no, 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 then you need to start getting yourself on the right side of this and you need to take action and you need to start now if you haven't already. I, I, I absolutely agree. I think, I think that the younger you start, 
at least you can get somewhat ahead. I mean, personally, when I look at the fact that now it takes an average salary around, you know, when you say an average, when I say an average salary, you know, in the United States it takes about 10 to 12 years after a salary. We're not even counting expenses to even be able to afford a basic house. There's no such thing as a starter home anymore. Um, it's a very depressing prospect, especially when most of these kids, you know, my age or Gen Z are in crippling student loan debt and half of their jobs. And we talk about it. We talk about inflation. I mean, inflation is not only a dollar figure paradigm. It's also in, it's also in material as well. What I mean by that is, you know, 30 years ago, having a master's degree was very, very rare. Now everyone and their mother has a master's degree. So because everyone has it, therefore it's inflated. Therefore it has lowered its value and the job pool has become more saturated with individuals from habit. So mm -hmm. the, 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 the price goes down, their value goes down. Yeah. So, and we're seeing that now, I mean, I, I see, I see it in my profession, you know, I see, I see it in my profession as a social studies teacher, you know, the, the income to standard of living, you know, where I'm at and, and especially throughout the country as well. So, all, all I want to say, you know, Greg, is I really do appreciate your time. I appreciate all that you do for your subscribers. It's it's an incredible thing you're doing, a very noble thing you're doing, uh, teaching people about these things that you know, some of us may not know about, many of us won't know about. And I look forward to having you on again. It, it's always an honor to have you and speak with you about these, these pressing issues. Thank you. I, I love being here with you. You always have a great time. You're an extremely smart guy, and I really hope people start following you. Uh, because I, I think, you know, you're like we said before the, before this whole thing, you're making a, you, I feel like you're making a positive difference in the world. And that's all that matters to me. If we just focus on making a positive difference in the world, do you think the world would be where it is right now? Hell no. It'd be in a lot better place. <laughs> Amen. Amen to that brother guys, please make sure if, if you're, if you're coming here from my channel, make sure to follow Greg on Twitter, have his link in the description, check out traderchoices.net, uh, trader have his link in the description, make sure to subscribe to Gregory Manorino's YouTube channel, I have that link in the description, and guys, please make sure to like, uh, like, share, and subscribe, I appreciate everyone coming here, and uh, Greg, I'll, I'll see you soon, brother. Absolutely. Thank you so much, give me one second.